Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to be demonstrating how to paint a happy cow with a crown of flowers. And as you can see, I've already sketched out my image. What I first did was I painted the canvas in this soft gray color. I drew this tic-tac-toe figure over it. I put my picture on crop mode, which gives me a tic-tac-toe figure over the picture. And the reason for that is because it helps me to draw out what I see in each block. I find that this method is a lot more easier to do than to try to draw the image freestyle because by this method, your proportions come out a lot more accurate. And the reason for the two tones is so that I don't get the tic-tac-toe image mixed in with the actual picture. And this is chalk, so as I paint along, uh, you, you will see the chalk lines disappear. You don't have to worry about this showing up in your picture. So in today's uh, video, I will be using these uh, acrylic paints. And the colors that I've chosen is, this is called Robin's Egg Blue. This is a pink, not sure the name of it, but you can use any pink of your choice. I have two pinks here. One is warmer, one is cooler. This is uh, like a um, deep uh, apple red or cherry red. This is a um, sienna color, brown, black, yellow, and sap green. Okay. You don't have to run out and get any of these colors if you don't have them. Just use whatever you have available. Okay. So you can follow along in the video. If you've missed a point, you can always back up. You can um, rewind it. You can paint it again if you like. The uh, brushes that I will be using, this one is like a half inch flat brush. Uh, that works well for the uh, smaller details. This is a little liner brush that I'm going to use. You can use any liner brush that you feel comfortable with. And this is a shade brush. I'm going to be using it to paint the um, outside uh, colors as well as the bigger parts of the picture. Okay. And so we're going to get started here. The first thing that I'm going to do is looking at my reference photo, I want to um, start with the darker areas first. So picking up my half inch brush um, and dipping it into black. Okay, I'm going to do the eyes. And I'm just trying to stay within the lines. Okay. It's only one eye. The other eye is facing in the other direction, so you can't really see it. And I'm also going to outline the eye because I see this outline there. If you work from dark to light, it makes it a lot easier uh, to do your highlights later. Okay. I'm also going to fill in the nostril with the black. And if you are a first time painter or a beginning artist, uh, this mo might pose a challenge for you, but I do encourage you to try it out. Um, everything is about trial and error, and of course, you're not going to get it right the very first time. The good thing about this is, if you don't like the way that your image came out, you can always uh, gesso over it or um, paint over it in a white paint. And you can start all over again or... Uh, recycle your canvas. I've recycled many of my paintings that I was not completely happy with. 
um, being a becoming a professional artist takes time, effort, hard work, determination, and lots and lots of practice. So don't give up. It takes years to get to a more experienced level. But the point is to keep on trying and keep on practicing. So this is the color. Um, I'm going to paint it black for right now. But then I'm going to add some highlights to it. And just make it look nice and pretty. Art is very therapeutic. It can help you to relieve stress, anxieties. It can really change your life. So if it's something that you've always wanted to try, don't be afraid. Jump right in, try it. You will, it will change your life. You will love it. You want to put on some soft music, something to help you relax, light a candle, paint after the kids have gone to bed. I did that many, many times. Um, there's nothing more relaxing than art. Okay, so now... Um, Rinsing off my brush, okay, I'm going to now pick up my uh, three-quarter inch flat brush and I'm going to go in and dip into my um, Ross, uh, raw sienna, I think this is raw sienna, and I'm going to mix it with just a little bit of white. Okay, so here I have my brown and my white. Mix a little bit together. I don't want this like super dark. Um, and I'm just going to come in and fill in these darker areas that I see. I'm choosing to paint my cow a little bit lighter color than what I see in my reference picture. Okay, so I'm just going in and filling in the darker areas, taking my time, looking to see where are the darker lines. And you want to work with the fur of the cow. You want to paint in the direction that you see the fur um, going in. Almost like you're combing his hair with your paintbrush. You see how the lines are just disappearing here? They're not completely disappeared. Don't panic because you're going to put on more paint. It's going to be heavier and it will make it disappear. Okay, as I move down, I want to soften my brush strokes. And I'm just following the direction of the lines. And I'm coming in here a little bit close to the eye. And over here. Okay, we're going to put in some... The reason why the paint looks two tones is because I picked up white and brown. I didn't mix it together, but that's okay. I like that. All right, and of course, right over here, pick it up a little bit more brown into the white there, the burnt sienna, and I'm moving over here, looking for my darker areas first, okay? Darker areas first. More brown. You want to try not to go into your black there. 
takes a little practice to paint this quickly and not run over stuff. The good thing about acrylic is it dries quickly. So, um, don't have to worry that the color is going to blend in together. Um, acrylic paint does tend to dry fast. So if, if you have a paint that is drying fast on you, you can always dip your brush in a little bit of water to loosen it up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to get this all the way down to the bottom. The nice thing about a painting is you can either keep it for yourself or you can give it away as a gift. So yeah, what's nicer than a hand painted picture, right? I see this area a little bit darker, so I'm going to take that brown and push it aside over here and just the very, very tip of the brush, very little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of black in there. A little tiny bit goes a long way. Okay. And I'm going to put that in there. Under here like this. And then move it downward. I know I make a lot of noises. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. Sorry guys. Okay, there we go. Alright, and um, now I'm just dipping in a little bit more of that white in with the sienna. Okay, making a lighter color, a little bit lighter here. And I want to go into this jaw. It looks lighter, way lighter. Okay. I'm just brushing it along like this to join in with this color. So with the flat of my brush, I am moving forward like this. Okay. And again, on the top of the nose here, I know you can see a little bit of that blue coming through, but that's all right. We're going to get rid of that. A little bit more white, a little bit more sienna, a really soft tone for the nose or whatever you call this part of his face. I don't know if it's called the nose. I don't know much about cars. I just know they're pretty. Okay, so you see how he's got like a V-shape here? That's what I'm trying to form. Sort of a V-shape. Oh, kind of took away the shadow. We'll come back and put that in. A little bit more white on this burnt sienna. And we're going to go right up here and bring this in a little bit because he's got a highlight right there. Okay. He's got another highlight right here. Push it this way. Okay. All right. And then a little bit of white, just on the edge. You want it on the edge. Tap it like that so it comes to a chisel. And we're going to just paint right around the eye. You might want to use a smaller brush for that. Right there, just so you don't get it messed up. And over the eye, a little bit. And it kind of sweeps that through. Sweep through there. 
Okay. A little bit right here coming down. Try to just brush that. Okay, just brush it. And we're going to pick up some more white. And on the jaw area, uh-oh, I picked up a little yellow. That's okay, that's okay. On the jaw, we're going to just soften that. Soft, soft, soft. Soften those brush strokes. Make them soft. Not too much paint. Okay. And um, let me see. Right here, this is light. Light color. Light color. Okay. All light. See how the chalk just disappears. Okay, now we're going to dip back into the dark. Because I forgot this little area right here. And we're just tracing around. Coming over here. Coming here. Brush that out. Brush it out. Brush it out. Blend it so that it blends in with the rest of my... Bring it out this way. Bring it out this way. See that? Okay. This is dark as well. So I'm picking up a little bit more of the brown. Come on. And to separate this line from here, I'm going to put a little bit more white right here. Because if you look at the picture, it's got that kind of white right there. A little bit more brown. Okay. And... Let me see, I see a little bit of white line here. Just ask yourself, what shapes do you see? What shades? What? Think of things in shapes and color. Shapes and color. Shapes and color. Everything is shapes and color. Okay, there's some... Um, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the burnt sienna, little tiny bit of black. Okay, mix those two colors together to get a little bit of darkness right in here. And a little bit of darkness right in here. Okay, and right here. Darkness right here, right there, tiny bit of all these creases, right? A little bit more white, and the white, I'm going to make his nose a little bit whiter just because I want it to be distinguished from the rest of his face. Uh-oh, I messed up. I'm just going to wipe this off. And that happens sometimes. You might run into a problem like that. Just wipe it off, go back and repaint it. No big deal. Okay. Boy, she's looking more like a horse. Okay. So now I'm going to take my burnt sienna, really dark, okay? Mix in a tiny bit of black in there. And I'm going to go over the nose. Um, I don't want it that dark. A little bit lighter. There we go. 
a little bit lighter and it's just a little bit of white right here so I want to make sure that I get that white I don't want that dark okay and let me just go right up to here right to here like this if this brush is too big to handle you can always use the smaller one okay just like that and we'll make that little line right there okay all right now i'm going to put that back in here and i'm picking up my half inch brush and i'm going to pick up my blue color okay my light blue robin's egg blue and i'm going to paint this part of the snow this blue and you might be wondering why blue well white uh, when it's in shadow really reflects like a blue color so we're gonna paint that in blue make sure you don't blend it in with the brown okay Okay, and then the bottom part right here too, we want the same thing. Do the bottom edge first. Okay, do this little side piece. Just like that. Okay, and you also, I'm also going to paint, I'm going to pick up a teeny tiny bit of this black okay put it right here on the side oh that's too much black i'm wiping that off picking up some of this blue and mixing it with a little bit of this black and i'm just going to paint this bell like a blue black blue gray color you see that okay it's uh, lighter on one side, but it's darker on the other side. So let's do that, right? Let's do that. This is black mixed with a little bit of blue. Make it a little thicker. like that it's got a little cowbell on all right i'm wiping off my brush just wipe off the black now i'm dipping into a little bit of white okay and right down the middle i'm gonna brush down that white straight across a couple times okay and then just kind of blend it into the blue. Blend it into the brown. Not all the way, not all the way. You don't want everything to disappear, right? And then go along the edge. The edge. Wipe it off. Come back and just kind of soften that edge. Soften that edge, just like that, okay? Look at that. I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit more white, just on the very tip and on the outer side. Let's do that line one more time, very gently, very softly, so it sticks, okay? Look at that, all right. And your brush to the side. All right. 
and I'm just trying to give it some highlights here. Okay. All right. And I'm picking up a little bit more of the black or gray to soften this up. So you don't see too much of it. There you go. Uh-oh. Gotta change the dynamics of that. Go back into my black and I just want that to disappear a little bit. Okay, don't want to mess with that too much. There we go, there we go. And then the little bell that comes out of it. Okay, dip into a little tiny bit of black or white. And there, oh. It's kind of hard to get that little detail. All right, that's it. I'm not messing with that. Okay. Going back to my nose, let's come back to the nose, wiping off my brush, cleaning it off in the water, wiping off my brush. With the nose now, I want to put in some white, just put in some white, okay. I'm gonna come right in here with just a little bit of the white and put a little bit of highlight there. A little bit of highlight right here. Okay. And picking up a tiny bit more white on the tip and just going over this side right there. Okay, and a little bit right here, a little bit right here. Turn, on the, turn your, your brush to the side and you want to go on the inner part of the nostril, the upper part of the nostril, the snout on the bottom, just outline it a little bit so that you see a little bit of light. Okay, I'm going to come back to that. All right. Wipe off my brush. And um, I want to soften this a little bit. I don't like hard lines. Make it look like she painted her eyes. All right. A little bit of white right here. Just like that. A little bit of white right here. A little bit of white right here. Line this way and then brush it inward. Okay. Bring it down a little bit. Bring it down. There we go. Okay. Now, picking up some more of that sienna color. I'm going inside the ear. Okay. Inside that ear. Both sides. Inside the ear. I'm picking up a tiny bit of this yellow, okay, and I'm going to mix it somewhere with a tiny bit of red and just dip it in there because light, when it hits inside the ear, gives it kind of like that pink glow. So that's what you want. You want the pink glow, okay? So now um, picking up some of the Sienna that's on there with some of the white, mix it together. And I'm going to do the bottom part of her ear. Okay. Just like that. Like that. And then the top part of the ear. part of the ear coming around just like this so you want to look at your image constantly look at your image to make sure that you are painting the right stuff okay make sure that brown and the white mix together and I'm coming right in here and I'm going 
to push this out like that. Some more. Okay. Um, And then that one here, so let's push that in like that. Okay, now with my white, I'm gonna come back in here and make these little hairs come down like this. Kind of like you're painting big lashes or something, you know? And even right here, this ear is like real fluffy, really fluffy coming out. Move in the direction you see the hairs moving. More white, right up on top, right up on top, just like that. The outer looks whiter than the inner. And that's what you want to get. Okay? Same thing on this side. On the very top, it looks really white. And as it comes further in, it's browner, so there. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, and right here, she gets a little bit darker brown. Okay, I want to separate the eye from the ear. I want to do a little bit lighter white right there. Okay, you see how she's coming together now? Okay, she's coming together. Alright, coming together. Okay, and let's do a little bit more white right there. A little bit more white right here. Just because light is hitting there. Okay, light is hitting there on her jaw. Light is hitting the jaw. Okay, and I am mixing, I'm cleaning off my brush, I am mixing a little bit more of this burnt sienna on here with this dark, with the black, so it's giving me like a darker color, uh oh, I want something even darker than that, I need to get my sienna color. Okay, kind of ran out over here. Got a little bit more sienna. Okay, I'm mixing it with a little bit of white. And I want to come back in here and just give her some more her here. Okay, just give her a lot of hairs to show up. So I'm pushing down on my brush a little bit harder. You guys can see those lines. Okay. Tiny bit of black. Mix it in with the brown sienna. And I'm coming right in here. Doing this. Oh. Wrong direction. Sorry. Okay. Wipe off my brush. A little bit more white. And coming right in here and connecting that. All right. So let's now move on to the flowers out on top of the head. Okay. Uh, oh, before I move on to the flowers, I want to work on the, on her little collar. Okay, so the collar, mixing in some of that light blue with a little bit of black. And I'm coming right in here. Front part of the collar. It's reflected in light. And a little bit on the edge right there. Okay. 
also going to put in just a little hello. Okay, it's not in the picture, but I want it this way. Oh boy, it's getting too much. Okay, so. There you have it. And the buckle. We're going to make this little buckle All right there. Right there. Oh boy, I think I put this in wrong. Anyhow, no big deal. All right. All right, why don't we, um, we're going to focus now on her, you know what, let me put a little bit more highlights on her snout, want that to look lighter, want this to look lighter, there, I, oh, right there, all right. Picking up a tiny bit of this pink color, and I'm just going to put it right there in her snout. I want some of that pink showing up, okay? I want some of that pink on her snout. All right, and uh, hmm, maybe right here, a little bit more white. There, I just want some of the pink to be reflected somewhere because my background color is going to be pink. Okay, so I want pink to show up in somewhere in the reflections. Okay, so now we're going to do the flowers, all right? And I do have um, a reference photo for my flowers. I don't paint anything from mind or memory. I'm just not good at that. And as many years as I've been painting, um, I have not mastered anything like that. So I am painting from a reference photo. And we're starting with the very center of the flower. And just working my way through, just kind of whatever here, you know, I'm not sweating too much the flowers. Okay, so um, just bear with me. Um, just like that. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this pink and just put it around here like this. So I start off with right in the center and then just kind of walk around the outer side. And then we'll rinse that off. And the secondary pink that I picked up right here, we're gonna use that one. So we just kind of just kind of throw in some petals. And we'll kind of which one we okay just like that okay and the little one right down in here as well now I know what you're thinking that does not look like flowers. But when I get done, you will see that it will look like flowers. Okay, we're going to now, um, maybe with a little bit of pink, we'll trace over these leaves. And these leaves. 
Okay, and then we're going to come in with the green. Just kind of shape these leaves. Okay, doesn't have to be anything fancy or perfect. Okay, we'll put in a little leaf right in here. Okay, and maybe another one right down in here. All right, come back, wipe that off, and we're going to pick up a tiny bit of yellow and just dip it right in here. In here, in here. Okay, wipe that off. Pick up some white and maybe just give those leaves a little bit of highlights, just like that. A little bit of highlight, make them softer. Okay, and I'm gonna um, right, let me switch brushes. Okay, this is another half inch brush that I have. Picking up some white and just coming in here and putting some highlights on my flowers. Okay. Just like that. See how now they're starting to look like flowers? Okay. Just ask yourself, where would light sit? It were on a flower. Where would it go? Or look at your picture and see where it goes. All right. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of this. Um, pink color and put it right here mix in some white pick up some of this pink color I want it nice and soft like an old rose color okay and I'm just going to very gently move around the outside of my canvas like this okay just like that I'm going to move right in here. Okay. Very globby, thick paint. I want to make sure I don't run over my image, okay? I'm dipping white, pink, just like that. I'm going to put a little bit of this rose color in there just to warm it up. And you can make your background color whatever color you want. I just chose pink. This is so relaxing. Okay, so coming back up here, a little bit of white in there. And just coming very sharply around the edges of my image. If you happen to pick up some paint, let's say from your flowers or your cow, don't worry about it. It's quite all right. Just 
just makes it more interesting. I think so. See that? Just like that. Right in here. So maybe right in here I want darker pink. See that? How cute. This looks so cute in a little girl's room. Huh. We have a little girl that maybe likes cows. This would be a great little painting for her. Okay. And of course, we want to be able to distinguish our flowers from the background. So here's what I am going to do. First of all, I want to put a little bit more white in my background so that I can see some more brush strokes. I like brush strokes. I think it makes the painting look so much more interesting. The good thing about this negative painting that I'm doing is you can clean up your painting like this by painting around your image. You can clean it up nicely. It gives you a chance to really define what you're doing. Okay. Let's go back to a little cow. All right. So my cow. Uh, all right. I want to put in these tiny details that I see now. I wiped off my brush. Picking up some more of that sienna. I'm going straight sienna color. There's a little line right there. That kind of separates that ear like that. And right here, I want to come right in here just like that and just pull this back like that and just pull that in just a little bit so I can see some of those hairs like that. A little bit darker. With the chisel of the brush and then picking up some of this pink I'm picking up some pink I'm putting it in there okay and then some white with the chisel part chisel part I am putting back some white okay I'm gonna come back to that, okay? A little bit more white chiseled. And I'm putting it right back up here. Just separate it. Separate those hairs. Don't put them too close together. Okay, see how that really stands out? Come back again, a little bit thicker. Okay, same thing right here, same thing. Okay, and there. Don't be afraid to put those big fluffy ears in there. She's got a lot of hairs in there. Okay, wiping off my brush, coming back into the sienna, and just going over a little bit of this hair right here. And the white, let's go in with our smaller brush. We're going to take some of this white and just kind of put a little line in there, just like that. Back and forth, zigzag through. Zigzag through, soften it up. Okay. A little bit more white and zigzag through here, just like that. 
Okay, flip side through. Just kind of brush it out very gently, very gently. Okay, that worked. Sometimes you're just gonna find little tricks, little tricks that will work to give you the look that you are looking for. All right, with this same little tiny liner brush, I flattened out the edge, made it nice and flat so that I can come into the eye and just make this fine little line and fill in this little space right here with my white. Okay, and I'm also going to give it a little bit of white in the eyes. I'm going to wipe that off and come in with my black. And just kind of thin out that line. Come a little bit closer. Thin it out. There we go. And let's make this eyebrow a little bit more rounded right there. There we have it. Okay. And now with the white, just flatten that out again. We're going to give her some nice, Lashes, okay. Lashes. Just like that. Cows have these really long, beautiful lashes. Okay, so that and then up on the top here. Come like that. Oh she's got falsies on. Okay. I'm just going to give her a little light in the eyes right there. Okay. Look how pretty she's looking. I'm also going to use my liner brush with some of this red, cherry red. And just kind of go around my flower a little bit more. Flower doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be. A little bit back on one side than what it is on the other. Okay. Just like that. The belly of the flower. So it's more defined. Okay. And she's kind of missing the hump on her head, right? <laughs> Let's put that in. Don't want her going around with a missing bald spot there. Okay, just a little brown. And then a little bit of white right in there. Right? I feel like I want to put another leaf somewhere. I'm going to use my little brush. And number one, I'm going to put a little stem right there. I want some brown for that stem. Just a little green right there. I am just a little bit more of a leaf right here. Okay, a little bit right there. Some white. I put way too much white in there. Okay. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay. Maybe a couple of yellow dots here. Oh boy. I don't like what happened there. Anyhow. Okay. Let's come back in with the red again. And we're just going to find that little flower a little bit more. And this one. A little bit more. And then a little bit of white. Right in there. Play around with those flowers. I'm not too great with flowers. These are just in Impressionistic flowers. Okay. So don't get too 
Pull it up over the flowers. All right. And maybe we'll put in a couple of little doodads here and there. Okay. A couple little berries, I don't know. Maybe just something yellow. Okay. There you have her. Okay. She's got a little bit of a highlight there. Oh, I just messed it up. Too much white. Too much white. Okay. Oh boy. All right, guys. You got the picture. All right. Now we got to give our name. How about Lucy? I like Lucy. Okay, Lucy. Just give her a little highlight right there in the collar. Okay. So, Lucy, she's got her little bell going on. She's got her flowers. She is ready. She's a showstopper. Okay, and if you do a painting like this, you're going to be a showstopper. Okay, so let's put a little highlight right there. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments below. Please try this cute little painting. If you want to change the background color, make it blue or green or yellow, whatever color you like, that will work as well. Have fun and stay safe. Thank you for watching.